What's up, y'all? What mark on my face? What is up, everybody? Hope all is well. Listen, it is late in the night hour, so I just want to say hello. I try to make this really quick, okay? Oh, uh, I can't pull it up on my screen like I do on Instagram. Let me see. No, I can't pull it up. Listen, let me say this. I've been seeing y'all. Okay, I thought there was a boogie. I've been seeing y'all make these posts about uh, Jeju Sheard. And I don't mean to say just Jeju Sheard in a disrespectful way because I don't know that's bitch y'all. Excuse me. Anyways. Y'all, I'm a little perplexed in this because I had a conversation and I just went on the Kojic page and just everything is just, you know, as I said, it was going to happen. The Sheards, the Clarks is everywhere. It's gone from the Church of God in Christ to the Church of God in Clarks. It's like out of the whole convention, Hey, what's going on? Out of that whole convention, y'all done got geeked and fired up because of Friday night. Y'all done got geeked and fired up because he didn't scoot it around the, the, the pulpit and he didn't prayed for a few people and poured it and fell out up there and y'all just, there y'all go. Y'all. I, I just, I, I don't know. I think it's me. I think it's me. Like, I just think it's me. I I, I believe it. it. It's me. It's me. I just think that you all are giving this man a whole lot. Now I'm seeing videos of y'all comparing this man to Bishop Mason. I'm like, y'all got to be kidding me, right? Like the man. Okay, stop, Murray. Don't Don't do it. Am I the only one? Am I the only one? Cause I, I'm just saying. I'm I'm really trying to be. Listen. Am I the only one? Hey Don. Hey Jalon. Hey Jada. What's going on? Am I the only one? Cause I'm I'm serious. I'm sitting up here looking at this stuff, and I'm just like, y'all, act, are y'all acting like this man is the second coming of Bishop Mason? And I'm like, and I'm I'm trying to really watch what I say, cause a lot of y'all feel like you know when I say something, I'm like, oh, are you being mean? And I'm like, I'm not being mean. I'm just giving constructive criticism, but I'm just like. So, these are my thoughts and my opinions, okay? These are my thoughts, my opinions. I feel like y'all have went from worshiping, well, I don't even know if y'all really worship the Lord. And Sandra said, he does nothing for me. Okay, I knew I wasn't the only one. I knew I wasn't the one. Hey, Brittany. People have idol fever. But see, here's the thing about, here's. What's up, Sammy? Let me tell you something. Let me me tell you something. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Now, let's. See, I'm about to get myself in a whole lot of trouble when I do this. I'm about to get myself in a whole lot of trouble when I do this. Bishop Mason, from the stories that I was told, Bishop Mason, from the stories that I was told, was walking past people and people was healed, delivered, all this other stuff like that. Okay? So one person got a, 
then stop or so called it stop walking with a crutch and they y'all go i'm like wait a minute hold on hold on hold on hold on now i'm seeing videos and pictures compared him to bishop mason oh my god oh look at the law oh i'm like well, wait wait whoa 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 Char, whoa, whoa, I'm like, y'all is doing way too much, I'm like, y'all, y'all acting like this man is the second coming of God, and Jesus Christ and Yeshua, I'm like, wait, wait, a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute, because th this is my situation here, this is my situation here, okay, this is my situation here. Y'all are getting hyped up and still don't see the proof of what's going on. Huh? Y'all getting hyped up and nobody should. They just said the church is out of debt. Oh, my God. Do y'all see what the church is out of debt? Do y'all see what the church is out of debt? Have you, hey, Terrence, have y'all seen the church out of debt? Because I looked at AIM. I looked at AIM. And AIM has gotten tremendously small. Y'all look like PAW did last year in St. Louis. Small. See, my thing is this. Y'all, you... <sighs> you're getting excited over another man's work. You're getting excited over another man's progress, right? Hey, Darius, hey, brother. You're getting excited because all this stuff you see right now is a spillover of Bishop Ed Charles Edward Blake. Don't, 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 don't play no games with it now. Don't play no games with it. Don't play 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 with it. It's a spillover. What's up, Cosmo? Cosmo, what's up? It's a spillover, and I'm not. I'm not. Listen. If the man did some stuff, I give him his credit. But I'm telling y'all right now, what I'm seeing. You said, do you think it's a venue? I don't think it's a venue. I don't think it's a venue. Hey, Jeremy. I don't think it's a venue. I just feel like I don't know who's doing the marketing. Hey, I don't know who's doing the marketing, but I'm telling y'all, every person that they have put Hear me when I say this. Every person that they have put over different departments, all you see is their face on these things instead of showing the works. This is the problem, y'all. Don't nobody, let me tell you something. Don't nobody want to see, well, don't nobody want to see you. We want to see your works. I'm, I'm just being honest, y'all. We want, you got Roger Hennings, who is over church growth, and all you see is his church on the church growth page and his face and him, his churches. And I'm like, this page is supposed to be about church growth. I'm trying to tell y'all, look, it, the, oh, Jesus Christ, you... Hmm. And then on top of that, and then on top of that, wait a minute, let me put my cash app up here because let me tell you right now. On top of that, I'm sitting up here like, I go on the, 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 the official church page and I'm like, it's, it's the Clarks, Sheard, Clark Sheards, Clarks. And I'm like, y'all, where's the ministry? Where's the works, y'all? Where's the works? Oh, Jesus Christ, Father God. Y'all think I'm lying. 
I just, man. Are y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? Hello? Now, why ain't my stuff working? You know, I don't like this. Hey, Lewis, is it Lewis? Damn it. Oh, okay, good. Good, thank you, dears. Thank you, uh, Christina. So I'm just saying, y'all, I'm trying my best to be as as positive in my constructive criticism as much as possible, Jeremy. But I'm just, I'm, I'm seeing this stuff and I'm just like, babe, we are surviving at this point. Hey, Aaron. Um, I'm like, where's this church is surviving on vapors at this point. And everybody just, just bucking and shouting, bucking and shouting. And I'm like, I'm like, Lord, when are they going to get it? When are they going to get it? When are they going to get it? Bucking and shouting ain't going to say it is church. I, I pro Okay, okay, okay. Mark my words. Mark my words. If you don't get it together, I'm talking to my folks. If you don't get it together, babe, we're going to be in a hall. Because we're still a big church, but we're going to be in a hall somewhere. Because ain't nobody going to want to come. So you better get you better get some act right up in the act right. Because folks is tired. The last time I saw Church of God in Christ convocation pack, it was with T.D. Jakes. Uh, we, we had ecumenical services. Charles Ellis was there. T.D. Jakes. What's that? That little puny man from um Texas too, the little white man, uh, Joel Osteen. Wait, hold on, Donald. Hold on, what Donald say? Well, hold on. Oh, okay. So what what I'm getting at is this. While y'all are out here comparing, while y'all are out here comparing Bishop Shear to Bishop Mason, and y'all are just having a cow, the work still needs to be done in this church. I'm serious. I love our fashions. I love our style. I love all that stuff. But the work still need to be done in our church. And I'm not talking about the court cases and the molestations. And I'm not talking about that. The work still needs to be done in our church. And it's not going to survive off personalities. Hello, somebody. Hello, I'm talking. I'm talking to you. It's not going to survive off personalities. It's not going. Oh, well, we gotta pray. Oh, Rabba Kasiki ando ro 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 It's it's not going to survive, baby. It's going to survive off one good management, and you're going to have to be strategic. And intentional about everything that you do. It's not going to survive off the Clark name alone. No, baby. It, baby. It's not going to survive. This is the church of God in Christ. This is the church of God in Christ international. 
This is a body of believers, not a body of Clark sister fans. Huh? This is not a church that serves the Clarks. We're supposed to serve the Lord, right? Okay? So I'm getting at everything at this point has got to be intentional. If you're going to do missions ministry, But see, here's the thing about you had uh, Bishop Hudson and you had uh, Brandon Jacobs preach. They still didn't do nothing for the church. They still didn't do nothing for the church. They still didn't do nothing for the church. If you go and look all up and down the Church of God in Christ page, all you see is the Clarks. All you see is the Clarks. I show, what it works at? What, where's the missions works? Because I'm like, y'all did some little mission thing down in Mississippi. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chris. Chris, what you say? I see you. What you say, Chris? And that marketing team is horrible. That marketing team is horrible. Hey, Nick, that marketing team is horrible all up and down, all up and down the Kojic timeline. It's just Clark Central. And I'm like, y'all, you've got to highlight what the church is doing. And you cannot take the credit from the people that's actually working the work. Hey, Solomon. You cannot take the credit from the people that's actually working the work. So if you go men's ministry, so if y'all go into the town and y'all see that it's been four or five churches that's been working, helping, giving goods and supplies and care packages to the people. Hey, Colleen, you have got to highlight those people. I'm just saying, y'all. You've got to highlight those people. Stop taking the credit for yourself as if you did something so bad. So the so what's going on is these people see that what you're doing is a bunch of BS and they're walking away. They're walking away. Because why would I serve a church that's all about themselves and not about the people? Because what you forget is, hello, what you forget is you that are in position, my dears, beloved, you serve the church, not the church serve you. Four years, Anika. So here's my thing. Here is my thing. Who is that? I just saw somebody pop on here. I. Hey, Alan, how you doing? Here's my thing. Y'all done got y'all a little time with Sheard in office. He has until November 2024 to come up with something. So you better pull a rabbit out the hat and some out your ass, okay? Because this right here ain't getting it. Hey, Joseph. This is not getting it. This is not getting it at all. This is not getting it at all. At all. At all. It's not getting it. You got all these people that are from these different. Y'all. Uh, I know we've gone through a pandemic and we see the church very different now. We see the church very different now. There was a time, Uncle Edward, I am good. Why is it every time I come on, 
that y'all think is a problem. I just did a whole fashion show. We had fun. That was good. Every time I pop on here talking, it is not always bad. Let's have fun. All I'm getting at is for real, y'all. All I'm getting at is all what I'm getting at is this. Y'all got what y'all wanted. You got the Clark sister in and she's been your first lady. Now, let's get to the business of rebuilding the church and making it actually mean something. Let's 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 get back to business and make this make the church actually mean something. Let's actually restore lives that have been taken and broken. Let's let's do that. Y'all harp on, we got real men. Baby, there's some punks in the bullpit. I said what I said, there's some punks in the bullpit. Some other some on the some undercover flaglets. Okay? Let's let's lead it. Let's lead the homos alone. Let's lead let's lead the grez alone. Okay, let's leave the Grez alone. Leave him alone. Baby, let's get to the part of rebuilding this church. There's been enough broken people. There's been enough shattered people. There's been enough stolen dreams, stolen money, stolen churches. Let's rebuild a legacy. Let's rebuild the storehouse. Let's rebuild the hospital. And we can still keep our fashions and stuff. That's great. But let's rebuild. Okay. Y'all don't really hear me talk about it because y'all normally, I will come on and cuss all y'all out. Period. Point blank. Let's get to the point where we are rebuilding this, 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 this church. Every last one of us that got a name attached, associated with this thing. Hey, Richard. It's got to come to a point where we stop focusing on ourselves. We stop focusing on ourselves and start focusing on the people. Nothing for the community. Nothing for the community. And I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Who is this? Hey, Jalen, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to tell you like this. When you get into the focusing on the ministry, the people want to see the people, not you. They want to see the people, not you. Hello, lights. Hello, hello. hello. They want to see the people, not you. Donald, send it to me. Send it to me, Donald. Hey, Miss Barbara. The people, you're going to save this church by empowering the people once again. That's how you're going to save the church. Thank you, Deshaun. Thank you, Deshaun. Thank you, Deshaun. This whole session, ever since these people have got into office, ever since these people have gotten to office, it's been about self and vain glory. This whole denomination, it's been ran like a storefront. Y'all don't believe me? Go look at it. This whole, this, this whole six million people, this whole six million people has been ran like a storefront church. 
Every time this man goes somewhere, he got to throw his wife up to preach. Storefront. And I'm quite sure Karen is tired of singing everywhere. Yo, man. I'm just looking for the day when we are so much more than our fashions. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the day when we are so much more than our clothes and 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 our preaching styles. I'm looking for the day when we have an actual legacy and church of God in Christ means something. Wait. Well. And you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. All of this stuff, all of this stuff, it's about it's about money, y'all. It's about money. Oh, a nigga said, what do you mean storefront? Okay. This church is ran like a storefront church, small church where everything is just you using your few little people and that's it. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And everybody that's doing something now is your little buddies. You know, it's it's your little buddies. Y'all. I'm not even going to talk about y'all talking about the punk sisters and faggots. I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. Because if that that twirls your little toes, twirl your little toes. Okay. Oh, Jalon, babe, we ain't got, babe, we ain't got no six million. We ain't got no six million. Mm -mm. Oh, we ain't no more. We ain't. We ain't nowhere near six million. You know why? Because the Church of God in Christ, like page, let me tell you something. If we had six million people, baby, our like page will reflect somewhere close to six million. I'm not telling you to go buy no likes. I'm not telling you to go buy no clicks. I'm not telling you to go buy no views. But I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, niece, yo God, I'm telling you right now, because what we got, what we got, poor marketing, poor church growth. Uncle Edward, just listen, all of this, all of this, all of this. And then on top of that, let me let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all how we how we how this church is operated. The people that can actually help us, the people in this church that can actually help us, we have dogged out and threw to the side. The people that can actually help us, we have dogged out and sent them to the side. You know why Bishop Daniels is not here? Do you know I wouldn't show up either? Huh? Bishop Daniels is by far the richest man in this church. Him and his sister. Him and his sister are the richest people in this church. We have dogged them out and threw them to the side. Why? Because... Bishop Daniels ain't been married, but he's business minded, business oriented, business sense. And when he offered to help, you said no. When he offered to help, you said no. No. 
So what you did was you dragged him, called him a homosexual, talked about his sexuality, all of these things like that. Do you think I would give a hoot nanny about being involved in this church if this is what the church is going to do for me? This man also offered to pay the church's debt and get the church out of debt for one year and not even take a salary. You drug him and threw him to the side. Even after you didn't make him a bishop, you drug him and could, oh, we're about family. We're Ain't nowhere in H-E double hockey sticks is this church ever been about family. We talk about family, but we're not about family. As much as these men have been in the news, have been in the tabloids, have been in the vlogs and all of this stuff. About cheating on their wives, about having babies out of wedlock. And you mean to tell me. This church is about family. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Don't tell me that this church is about family when these men are too busy tipping and dipping and having outside kids. Oh, maybe, maybe we're about families. Ah, hey, Auntie Deb. Ah. We got to do better. We got to do better, and it's got to be intentional. I'm going to say it one more time for the folks back there in the bike. We're going to have to do better, and it's going to have to be intentional. I'm not the presiding bishop. But I'm throwing my suggestions up in here. I'm not the presiding bishop, baby. I was born in this church. Don't tell me. Right. Well. That... Don't, t don't come at me talking about, oh, you got kicked. Baby, I've never got kicked out of a church. Miss me with that. I've never been kicked out of a church. That's not my testimony. And I know good and daggone well, Bishop Porter ain't never said that. So come again. We have got to change all of this stuff up. And it's got to be intentional. Or we're going to lose another group of people. We gonna go. Some of these folks gonna go on over there to Pilgrim. Some of these folks gonna go on over there to, to the Apostolic folks. Okay. I. You know what? You know what? You know what, Anika? I'm gonna tell you something. I love my bishop, and I, I call Bishop Porter my bishop because he was my pastor when I lived in Memphis, and I did. I was a member of his church. I love my bishop and because he was my bishop, like I would love to see him do a good job with this church. I really would. I really would now. But Bishop Porter does not have nowhere near the connections to fix this church. Nowhere near the connections to fix this church. I love him dearly. Nowhere near the connections. Babe, we need a complete overhaul. The whole board fired. The whole board fired. Fired. The whole cabinet fired. Give me a new face. And we got to do better. The people... I'm going to say it one more time. I'm, I'm trying to go. The people, and this is just the truth. The people need to know that you care about them. If they feel that you do not 
care about them. In 2024, you may not have a church. I'm not prophesying. I'm not no skin of a rinky dinky do. I ain't. In 2024, baby, we may not have a church. Hey, Bryson. We may not have a church. If everything, if everything, Jalon, is going to be about personalities, this church is not going to survive. Mario, you can't be on here speaking doom and gloom. I'm not speaking doom and gloom. I'm speaking reality. Hey, Shante, call me afterwards, okay? Doom, and, I'm not telling you doom and gloom. If, 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 if you're going to be standing on personalities, this church is not going to last. Because honestly, can, can I be honest? Can I be honest? Can I be honest? Hey, who is the Clark sisters reaching? Because the Clark sisters reach ain't but so far. The Clark sisters name only goes so far and does so much. And it don't hold long. The Shears name, it just go, you know, that's it. Y'all make it make sense. You all are riding on a family's name. And that family ain't got nothing to do with what God has intended for the people. I said what I said. The Clark sisters, the sheer name has nothing to do with what God has intended for the people of the church. If you want to continue the legacy of Bishop Charles Harrison Mason, go into the highways and byways and love on the people. Love on the people. The people want to feel that you care about them. The people want to know that you care about them. Don't just hand me no box of Clorox and soap and all this other and some little, little mouthwash and some 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 cereals and stuff. No, I need to see you more than one time. Your ministry is not in the church, but it's on the outside. That's why I stay on my vlog. Baby, I'm gonna keep talking. Uh, hello, I'm gonna keep talking. This is why I say even to the politicians, don't come talking to me two, three months before it's time to put you back in office. I need to see you. I need to see you, nigga. I need to see you. I need to see you more than when it's time for your name to get put up on the roll. I need to see you more times than, than when it's time to, to cast a vote. I need to see you. This is why I be telling Val Demons. I be telling uh, uh, Andrew Warren. I be telling uh, 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 Charlie Chris, Nikki Free, all the. Listen, I want to see your Asparellas more times than four months before it's time to vote. Because if I feel that you don't care about me, you ain't getting my vote. Might as well just get off my doorstep. Don't come to my church. Don't have no, none of your little parishioners call my cell phone. I'm going to be right here. I'm going to be right here. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this about Bishop Shear. Neath. Because I'm a, who did I have this conversation with? My cousin. I had this conversation with Hey, uh, Chubb, babe. I, had this, I said, now, I said, it was mighty funny to me that uh, Cedric Daniels, while Charles Edward Blake was sick, ran this church. Oh, I ain't going to get no help here. It was mighty funny that Charles Edward Blake got sick. And for two years, 
Cedric Daniels ran this church, went to funerals, eulogized people, and put people in place and made sure everything was taken care of. And y'all said, F you, give us the shears. I'm talking about works. Got amongst the people. I'm not telling y'all to put. I'm not telling y'all to put that man in office. I'm not telling y'all that because y'all going to say that. But that man did the work. That man did the work. If you're going to put somebody in position. Because I know y'all not sitting up out here. Y'all not sitting up out here. No, 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 no. I know y'all talking about, oh, my, you just, uh, 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 uh. no. If you're not going to select Bishop Sedgwick Daniels, if you're not going to select him, find you somebody. I feel like preaching. Hey, Darren. If you not, find you somebody who is out here doing the work. Find you somebody who is doing the work. Find you somebody who is amongst the people. Find you somebody. Find you somebody. Chubb, you hear that preacher? I feel the preacher man coming on in. Find you somebody who is amongst the people and doing the work and ain't really worried about their face being on plastered on something. And want to speak, want to speak in tongues and sound deep. Find you somebody who care about the well-being of the people that support them. Because if not, this church going to die. I don't care what nobody's. If not, if you don't do it, this church go, baby, y'all gonna be honey, y'all gonna be hickama sign and rubble bubble bubble shando hookalobo soto. You're gonna be doing all that stuff, and it's gonna be a couple rows of people, and that's gonna be it. But we're gonna be looking worse than PAW around here. We're gonna be in a hall. And I ain't talking about a big hall, we're gonna be a little hall. We gotta do better. We gotta do better. Bring back the morale of the church and make it mean something good. Make it mean something good. Make it mean something good. Mm -hmm. Bring back the morale of the church. And if you don't want to hear about the horrific stories of people being raped and abused, say something. Say something. Baby, we are, we are a broken, battered, abused church. Oh, Shantae, girl, you just... Oh, Shantae, Jesus, Lord. She is drinking the Kool-Aid. She drinking the Kool-Aid. Alonzo, I, I've been seeing you tag me and comment on stuff. I can't get it. Anyways, I said what I said. I said what I said. I don't think they're working on it, Shantae. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because what I'm seeing, I don't think so. These folks getting hyped up over this man up here doing the left foot step. Now he said one, two step, the left foot step. And up here, y'all done got so out of all week long, this man preached a half message on Friday and do the Watusi up there. And Bishop Porter, he didn't he didn't thought about all the stuff he'd been going through, and he didn't got excited and went to dancing and giving. And I'm telling you, that's, that that let me tell you something, Bishop Porter, that was real. That was real. That was real. Hear me, that was real. 
And now y'all taking pictures. Oh my God, he's G he's Bishop Mason. Oh, he's G E Patterson. And I'm like, girl, what? I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. We if we don't do better, we gonna lose this church. And I know all oh, we, we let us let us let us bask in the hype. No, bask nothing. Come on, come on off that hype and let's build and make things better. Cause if not, 2024 is gonna be worse than this year. Do y'all want to lose some more people? Do y'all want to lose some more people? Cause let me tell you something. The Lord has a funny way of cleaning house. Yeah, the Lord has a funny way of cleaning house. Yeah. We'll be we'll be surviving our vapors. And this church is too old for that. This church is too old for that. Too old for that. Too old for that. Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to say this, and hopefully I'm not lying. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to get off. I remember the days when we used to travel to the meetings, and they meant something. We went to convocation to get something from the Lord, to congregate with our brothers and our sisters, and receive something from the Lord. And we left. Uh, we left inspired and empowered. And we was on for the mission for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's not that anymore. All year long, we dealing with some bull crap. And we supposed to dress up. We supposed to dress up and dance over this stuff. I keep saying. I keep saying. Y'all gonna keep on. You gonna keep on. So Glenn Ford says, so who do you... Glenn. Glenn. I think at this point it don't even matter what I think. I think at this point, it don't even matter what I think. I, I picked Daniels, but apparently the folks don't want Daniels. They don't want somebody who actually can do something in this church and has a proven track record. So um, the only people that's left is uh, Macklin, Hines, uh, Macklin Hines. I love my pastor. But I don't want to put Bishop Porter in there. Baby, y'all fit. Well, I can't even say that. Do you like what you see? That's a better question. That's a better question. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you like what you see? And, and the people that y'all suggesting, they ain't got no money. They ain't got no money. Like you gotta have to do what needs to be done in this church. You gotta have some pull, and you gotta have some money. Does any one of these people <laughs> Macklin can preach the horns off of Billy <laughs> Do you like what you see? I need to make that a I need to make that a um 
I need to make that a um, a Facebook post. Do you like what you see? I'm asking a question. Do you like what you see? I, I guess y'all must like what y'all see. I guess y'all must like what y'all see. A lot of the gospel greats have left. Patricia Patterson, great preacher, great woman, worked in missions, all of that stuff, died from cancer. Joyce Rogers. This is a woman. Now, y'all, I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling y'all right now. This is a woman that did the work. She traveled from reformation to reformation. Was amongst the people. Dealing with the people. All with the young people. Everything of that nature. They left her stuck. Leading the young people. And she died from cancer. Because the church is so misogynistic, they too they, they too scared and afraid to really let women lead and go forth. Thank you, Miss Jackie. Bishop Mann, Bishop Mann, Lawrence Mann died and didn't even get a chance to serve. <laughs> Thank you, Krista. All I'm saying is, do you like what you see? Do you like what you see? If you're happy with just the dancing and kicking up and shouting and these little raggedy men's conferences, we were about real men. If, if, if that makes you happy, I don't need to say nothing else. I'll sit back and watch it. Or watch what happened. And here's the other thing. If you truly believe in God, Crystal, Crystal, I'm, I'm about to say something here now. I'm about to say something. Kevin Page, Mama Saunders, Mama Sandra, I'm about to say something here now. The Bible say, the Bible, the Bible says that when they made idols, and set them up in the temple. God proved his point by chopping their heads off. And their heads rolled outside the door. What we're dealing with now. Oh, Drew did this. He, baby, Drew ain't got us out of not now piece of debt. Drew ain't got us out of now piece of debt. If he did, show us. And then send us the link where we can go see it for ourselves. Yeah. Them, them apartments that's over there by Mason Temple, that's from Bishop Charles Edward Blake. So while y'all want to make your idols, be careful because God is real. God is real. The Lord is real. I do believe that. 
Marcus, I do believe it. Miss Gamble, I do believe it. Jala, I do believe it. God is real. <laughs> All right, Glenn. God is real. And while we're getting caught up in this is my opportunity, don't get lost. Don't get lost. Just go for the clocks and then go for the shears. Don't get lost. Don't get caught up in this is my time to shine. God is real. Don't get praised and end up losing your life. God gets the praise and humble yourself and start serving the people. What? Oh, no. Now, Jalon said I would vote for Prophet Khan at this point. Oh, so anyways, I am done. What that song say, God is real for I can feel him in my soul. God is real for he has washed. And made me whole. God is real. Yeah. Anyways, God bless everybody. God bless you. God bless you. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, send me a cash app. <laughs> the church is in morning. Send me a cash app. The church is in morning. I need $500. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No, anyways, I'm just playing. Uh, no, for real. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show. All that stuff. Peace out.